So I just got finished uh, watching all of the episodes of OKKO OK Let's Be Heroes, so I'm going to give you my quick thoughts on it. I had been slowly watching them throughout the past week. I didn't watch it when it came out, and uh, I didn't watch the shorts when uh, those came out, but I was interested in the show. The only thing I saw of it was the pilot, I think. But the show is about these characters that work in a uh, strip mall, and they work at a convenience store as part of the strip mall called uh, Lakewood Plaza Turbo. And uh, they all have different, like, powers and stuff, and they're all, I guess, technically heroes. And they all have, like, these different powers, and they're really, like, based on, like, anime and uh, sort of, like, that sort of stuff. So it, a lot of the show is a parody of anime. It's created by Ian Jones Cordy, who worked on Steven Universe. And uh, he's created uh, a really interesting and funny cartoon. The three main characters that work at the store are K.O., uh, Rad, and Enid. And there is also sort of a villain with a box man and his robots that he sends, and he's sort of like a Dr. Wily type, where he uh, creates these robots to send over to them. Though not all the episodes are like uh, a robot of the week or whatever. Like, all the robots he has have uh, their distinct personality, I guess. Most of the episodes so far haven't really focused on that. It's just been focused uh, on them doing their job and uh, the crazy things that happen. The main character, K.O., is uh, sometimes voiced by the VA that voiced uh, Kid Goku in Dragon Ball, but sometimes uh, he's not voiced by that VA, and I'm kind of confused by that, of, like, whether she was, um, like, replaced for the that job, or, like, they just alternate between the two. It's really weird, like, if, like, she got sick at one point, so they had to get another VA to, to voice him, so I don't know if that's, what's the story with that. Because there isn't really a cutoff point uh, in the episodes where, like, you start hearing um, the other VA, and then you hear the uh, Kid Goku's VA again later. So, um, though I know that episodes are um, recorded, uh, n not necessarily in order, so I'm, I'm not sure what the story with that is. I do really like the style of the show. It has these uh, great uh, exaggerated expressions that the characters have, and uh, exaggerated animation as well. So you can tell that this show isn't going to be like completely serious. It's going to be really silly. And I absolutely love the intro. The intro is amazing. It's a very short. I mean, it's just like a, a, a like a 20 second intro. But the song that goes with it is amazing. I'm not sure what this is uh, animated in, but uh, the way that the uh, outlines look, I, I love it. It, it kind of looks like the the outlines are are in pencil. Uh, the, when you see it like up close in HD, uh, especially since I'm watching it on on my monitor here. Uh, like the when it when it's a uh, full screen in HD, I can see like the outlines of the characters, and it looks like pencil outlines, and I really love that. It just has that sort of rough edginess to the lines. I know some people have criticized this show uh, already for it being a bit too um, like copycat of of anime, but the thing is like the the show is pretty much parodying anime to begin with, so I don't really mind. Uh, when Steven Universe does it sometimes, I'm kind of irked because they're doing, they're, they're really, like, taking, like, the same exact kind of shot. Um, and some people have said it with this one, though. I, I, I'll let this one slide a little bit just because it is supposed to be a parody of anime. So, um, uh, that's what I, I think about that criticism. But so far, I really do like the show, and I would recommend watching it. Uh, I think it's on, like, Cartoon Network's app or something. And there, there's actually, like, I think, like, the first six episodes on Cartoon Network's website, if you want to watch it there. And, uh, I, I think that, uh, my favorite character is probably Enid. Mainly because I love her design, and I also like the way that she deals with customers in, uh, in the retail store that they work at. It's very relatable for anybody who had to work in customer service. So those are just some quick thoughts on OKKO, OK uh, since I, I just finished watching the episodes that are out so far. And I have really liked it. So if you have seen OKKO, OK Let's Be Heroes, tell me down in the comments, and I'll see you next time. Bye!